The BDQ site is a split septum device that combines lure access with a split septum valve to provide a closed IV system. The split septum design adheres to guidelines set by the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, and International Nosocomial Infection Control Consortium, or INIC, for reducing catheter-related bloodstream infections when used in conjunction with clinical best practices. As a needle-free connector, the BDQ site lure-activated split septum can aid in protecting healthcare workers from needle stick injuries by eliminating the use of needles when accessing a catheter. Additionally, the BDQ site lure-activated split septum provides a fluid path with no internal mechanism and a clear housing that allows you to view and assess the fluid path. In general, needle-free connectors are relatively small medical devices. However, the connector design and features play an important role in an IV system. A few important features of a connector include the access surface and seal integrity of the connector, as well as its ability to be disinfected and flushed. This video will demonstrate how to use the BDQ site device correctly to take advantage of all its features. As with all components of an IV system, it is important to begin by priming the device and removing air. To begin, remove the device from the package and connect a pre-filled saline syringe. When connecting to the BDQ site device, always insert the lure end by using a straight-on approach. Angled insertions may cause poor functioning or damage to the device. Prime the device per your facility's policy. Ensure that air has been purged from the connector or extension set. Leave the protective end cap in place while priming, as it allows fluid to flow while protecting the male lure. For multi-fuse extension sets, clinical practice dictates the priming of all leads of the set in order to ensure that air has been completely purged. When attaching to a catheter hub, it is important to ensure it is clean and dry. Follow your hospital policy to properly disinfect the catheter hub with an approved disinfectant. Ensure you have allowed enough time for it to dry before attaching any needle-free connector. Before attaching the Q-site to the catheter, remove the protective end cap. Keep in mind that some extension sets feature a two-piece spin collar. For those sets, pull back the collar, insert the male lure, and give it a one-quarter turn before tightening the spin collar. Ensure a secure connection is made. Do not over-tighten. Remember to disinfect the needle-free connector prior to every access. Scrub the access port with alcohol or another approved antiseptic agent. Let the device dry to complete the disinfection process. The BDQ site connector features a sealed surface that allows you to clean and disinfect at the access point. The connector also includes a clear housing, which enables visibility while flushing. Always trace your line prior to connecting to a device in order to avoid a misconnection. The BDQ site accommodates flow rates up to 35.5 liters per hour allowing high volumes to be delivered for anesthesiology, cardiology, critical care, and other specialty departments. Unclamp the catheter or extension set prior to accessing the connector. If the mating lure is a two-piece spin collar, pull back the collar, insert the lure with a straight-in motion, and rotate a one-quarter turn clockwise before tightening the spin collar. When tightening the spin collar onto the BDQ site needle-free connector, hold the connector and not the catheter hub. This will help avoid inadvertent over-tightening to the catheter hub, which could result in difficulty when removing the BDQ site connector from the hub. For extension sets with a slip lure, insert the slip lure and twist a one-quarter turn in order to seat the lure. Never leave a slip lure unattended as it could disconnect from the needle-free connector.
To detach, disconnect the syringe or tubing slowly by using a straight-off approach. Angled removals may cause poor functioning or damage to the device. Securely hold the BDQ site connector while disconnecting the lure. Remove the lure from the connector by turning counterclockwise. Always flush the catheter immediately after infusion or aspiration. In accordance with the INS flushing standards, apply clamp before disconnecting the syringe to help prevent any reflux in the catheter lumen. Please remember the following items as you consider incorporating the BDQ site into your practice. Always prime your connector and extension set per your facility's policy for complete air removal. Disinfect the access surface of the BDQ site connector every time it is accessed. Clamp for patient safety when the BDQ site is not in use. Always flush the BDQ site connector and catheter before and after administration. Flushing before administration is helpful to ensure the catheter is patent prior to attempting to deliver medication. Flushing after administration helps to deliver the required medication dose and helps to maintain catheter patency. The BDQ site needle-free connector is available in many different extension set configurations to allow you to optimize medication delivery for all your patients.